taken in the name of family happiness. A daily reminder for coal miners that safety can never be taken lightly. Dai Zhigang understands the potential risks of his job. In underground mining, floods, poisonous gases, roof collapse and explosions are common causes of fatal accidents. And yet as an engineering major and a mining technician for nine years, Dai says the increasingly mechanized mining operations in his company provide him with a strong sense of security. Dai's experience tells the story of a changing coal industry in China. With simpler geographical conditions than traditional mining areas in the East, Ordos and Western China in general are becoming the nation's new coal supply centers, where more advanced equipment and techniques are helping to churn out the fossil fuel more effectively and substantially lower mining fatality rates. And yet China has long faced a coal conundrum. As the world's biggest producer and consumer of the fossil fuel, the nation has now pledged to slash coal consumption in a bid to reduce pollution and carbon emissions. The capacity quota of small coal mines will be given to bigger and more modernized ones. But even authorized miners face stricter industry regulations. Any mining activities, whether it's underground mining or open cast mining, means a certain amount of land will be destroyed. But these days, with environmental protection high on government agenda, local mining companies say they will not be allowed to continue production unless they reclaim the damaged land. So, as it turns out, the coal mining industry in Ordos is much more modernized than many think. And there's no doubt that during this industrial upgrade towards greener and more efficient mining technologies, more and more smaller coal companies will be phased out. Another cost of sorts to development. Shimon Xi, CGTN, Ordos, Inner Mongolia.